The video of a white police officer forcibly pushing a black teenage girl to the ground that's gone viral has sparked national outrage. Many see it as the latest example of excessive force by police. Now the white teenager who recorded the incident shares his story. In the news tonight on the future of the officer under investigation in this town divided. It happened in an instant. An end of the school year pool party erupts into screaming and shoving. The latest fuel in America's lingering fire over race and justice. 15-year-old Jajaria Becton, wearing the orange bikini there, thrown to the ground by a white officer. Seconds later, the situation escalates as Officer Eric Casebolt pulls out his service weapon, pointing it at two other unarmed teens who quickly run away. And then he returns to that girl in the bikini bathing suit, pinning her to the ground, both knees buried in her back. Hey, this video went viral in hours, now seen by almost 10 million. And the outrage has come pouring in from The View. White kids, black kids, no kids. Nobody should be treated like that. Nobody should be manhandled like that. I'm sorry. You know? To Fox News. Yeah, no doubt if you, about if you obey that. the police, it doesn't usually happen. No laws, no peace. Supporters of the police department voicing their feelings. I think he did what he thought he had to do to control the situation. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! While other members of the community marched in support of the teens. And at one point, both sides coming face to face over the issue. It's nothing worse than a coward with a gun in a bag. Now tonight, Officer Casebolt, a 10-year veteran of the McKinney, Texas Police Department near Dallas, has resigned. Our practice do not support his actions. He came into the call out of control. And as the video shows, was out of control during the incident. The whole key is de-escalate situations. You, the police, don't want to become part of the problem. And that's what it appears to me happened in McKinney, Texas. The police actually became part of the problem. It all started last Friday after members of a community pool contacted police about a rowdy crowd of students who they said weren't members and were refusing to leave. Tensions flared, witnesses say, after a fight broke out between white adults who had become agitated by the behavior of some of the black teenagers. It's unclear which kids were invited and which crashed the end of the school year party. It was then Casebolt and the other officers responded to the scene. Get on the ground. Hold up, sir. I told you to stay. Yet as police work to disperse the curious crowd, Casebolt can be seen racing to the scene. So quickly, in fact, he trips and flips, only to continue his charge. What did you do when I walked away? I'm sorry. So you just the officer seen and heard cursing at partygoers, he says, were trying to run from police. Don't make me around here with 30 pounds of goddamn gear on the sun because you want to screw around out here. And then Case Bolt refocuses his attention back to Jajaria Beckton. He told me to keep walking. And I kept walking, and then I'm guessing he thought we were saying rude stuff to him. And he shoved me in the uh, grass. He started pulling the back of my braids. I just don't see in that scenario where the police were in harm's way or that the kids were harming anybody else. Behind the camera, 15-year-old Brandon Brooks capturing seven minutes of chaos on his phone. He's just putting random black kids on the ground. I was like one of the few um, Caucasian people at the party. I think it might have had something to do with racism. But when the gun came out, Brooks worried things were about to get worse. At that point, my heart did drop, and I was scared that someone was going to get shot and possibly killed. So uh, I knew I had to keep on filming, like, because, like, that's, I got really scared when he pulled out his gun. There's absolutely no reason to ever pull a gun unless deadly force is about to be used on you. My colleague Steve Osinsami talked to members of the community who shared their relief McKinney had not turned into Ferguson or Baltimore. What do you guys think of all this? I, I think that it could have been a lot worse than what it was. Thank God it wasn't. And uncannily predicted what few knew about Corporal Casebolt until tonight. The way he acted, this wasn't the first time. He has a demeanor about himself to where he seems to be hot head and, and, and thank God it was a camera. ABC News has learned that in 2007, Case Bolt was accused in a federal lawsuit of racial profiling and excessive force during a drug search. 
Albert Brown Jr., who's African-American, says Casebold and other officers slammed his head against the hood of his car. Police did find drugs. The lawsuit was dismissed. Friday's video set off a firestorm on social media with tweets like this. A police officer who feels threatened by a teenager in a bathing suit might need to reevaluate their career choice. The officer has supporters as well. The situation in McKinney would not have escalated to what it did if everyone would have done what they were told to do by authorities. Read another tweet. Tonight we hear from one of the teens that tried to help the young girl on the ground. He started manhandling her and you can hear people in the video screaming. And the way he had her, I kind of like freaked out like, oh my gosh, he's hurting her. So I started telling him like, officer, please stop. You're hurting her. You 18-year-old Adrian Martin says he lost his footing trying to help the girl on the ground. And that's why it looks like he lunged at the officer. It looks like I'm lunging towards the officer, but as you can see the incline, I slipped because I got bumped into twice accidentally. At one point, Adrian says he felt like he was looking down the barrel of Corporal Eric Casebolt's gun. I was thinking I'm about to get shot. Is this it? And that's why I started running. Adrian Martin was arrested and charged with evading arrest and interfering with the police officer. Adrian, you good, bro? Adrian says the case vault was the only officer that was out of hand. There were some professional officers that were doing their job right. They were they were being respectful, but this this one officer, he was taking it out of hand. He was real aggressive. And the McKinney police chief seems to agree. I had a, 12 officers on the scene. 11 of them exact did exactly what we would want them to do. And while watching the press conference about Officer Casebolt's resignation, Adrian learns all the charges against him have been dropped. That case has been dropped. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just really happy. I'm, I'm ready to move forward. Another flashpoint endured. What fallout may follow?